Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's another episode of the Welcome to the Loot Town podcast. I am Killer Threat. Boy, cool, Cal. And you already know, as always, we like to go ahead and drop episodes every week. Uh, today is a subject that I would like to go ahead and tackle that is very important to uh, mostly parents. Parents that love their kids, anyways. Uh, involved parents? <laughs> yeah, involved parents. Yeah. Right. Uh, today's discussion will be about where would you like to send your child? Would you rather prefer private school or public school? Hmm. So let's go ahead and discuss what environment is best suited for our kids. Let's talk about it. All right. So if we're going to go ahead and break down the pros and the cons of private versus public school, uh, first off, let's go ahead and just let's talk about the teachers. Now, we already know that teachers like to implement things as far as some type of curriculum. Now, in private schools, the teachers are not controlled. Well, they are in they are in control to a certain extent regarding what the curriculum is if it's non-religious based. So, you know how like Catholic schools have their own curriculum, but they're still affiliated with like teaching about Virgin Mary and. Right, right. And Jesus and having mass every Tuesday and Thursday where everybody's singing hymns and holding books and all that <laughs> stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? But uh, a greater percentage of the teachers that are in private schools are new teachers. So that means that they teach 4% or excuse me, four years or lower just having experience in teaching students where the teachers in public school have a higher percentage of teaching meaning they teach longer for 15 20 25 years more experience they're way more experienced okay these teachers also in public school have master's degrees more more so than the private school teachers you know what i'm saying like me and you can become a private school teacher oh you meant to put app in there yeah man that, that's how easy it is but you know <laughs> to be a public school teacher you have to have that paperwork that's crazy that is crazy now for all my big ballers and shot callers out there say oh yeah because if you want to send your kids to private school just know that the schools are very expensive yeah in fact the cost of going to a private school cal is between seven thousand to twenty one thousand a year if you're really sending them like to a preppy twenty one thousand i mean that's got to be like a private school more like harry potter are you going to duke hey. North Carolina? Man, hold on man hey Hey man, that's a university. Right. You you dig what I'm saying? Twenty one thousand a year. Twenty one thousand a year. All right, man. Don't be asking me for no glue sticks, <laughs> no pencils. Nope. I ain't bringing no uh, sanitizing wipes. We're not bringing no supplies if we paying twenty bands a year. Yeah, for real. Now the now the thing about also with teachers now if we talking about public school, you know what I'm saying? Teachers like uh to participate in professional development every month of every year so and that's just basically uh teaching them how to interact with the kids probably more like a setting where they can go ahead and vent to the other members of staff of what happened during the course of their month or day or week or whatever and people just go ahead and throw out suggestions on how to deal with an issue or how to alleviate a problem how to deal with y'all bad at kids bingo you know what i'm saying they take that seriously you know what i'm saying just to be sincere about it yeah uh private school teachers don't do that you know now the good thing about private school folks is that there is a process where they can go ahead and accept the, the kids that come in so they can pick and choose what kids like no nah, little jojo gonna be a little problem right hey, I ain't taking him but with public schools, anybody and their mama can go to a public school. It ain't no picking and choosing. So, your kids just going to be going to school with whomever, wherever, whenever. You know, so you got to put that into yeah. the pot as well. Now... So, the private school classroom is more a controlled environment mm -hmm. for the most part. As opposed to a public school where you can have some... You know, some outlaws. Right. <laughs> Have outlaws like a mug. Yeah. Now, 
Now, another thing about uh, private schools that I like is that they have a certain curriculum that they can follow. Um, besides the religious factions and the re- religious affiliations for private school, I can say there are private schools that focus on like certain things, like a uh, private school for the arts, theater, music, etc. You know what I'm saying? Some of the great people of our time, like Tupac Shakur and Jada Pinkett, went to arts. Uh, Dave should. Do we want to call Jada Pinkett a great person right now? I mean, not necessarily she right a wild now. Girl. I don't want to call you know her what a I'm saying? Person. But I don't know. I don't know her personally. <laughs> right, right. So right. I'll go ahead and still uh, put that title by. I mean, you know, as uh, as you stated perfectly, everybody has character flaws. Absolutely. So, and we most definitely. Uh, and we don't know her personally, so yeah. she might be a great person. Yeah. Just to, you know, she got a real big character flaw. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, Dave Chappelle um, even went to uh, Duke Ellington. You know what I'm saying? Which is theater, which mm-hmm. teaching people how to act. And the only reason he went to Duke Ellington was because when he wanted to be a comedian when he was 14, a comedian that he looked up to when he started to do comedy, told him, "Well, if you really want to be a comic, you first have to learn how to act." He didn't want to become an actor, but he did take himself, got interviewed at Duke Ellington. You know what I'm saying? Told him the truth about why he wanted to go up there. He was like, I really don't want to act. But I was told by a comedian to be a great comedian. I need to learn how to act. Which enhanced his stage presence, which enhanced his you know, performance, which enhanced his abilities when he got a chance to act in those roles. Yep. Like half-baked. Yes. The Chappelle show may not have been that good had he not taken those acting classes. Man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, it's only one thing that I could say that was just like the Chappelle show before the Chappelle show, and that was in Living Color. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Classic. Um, now, as far as the curriculum goes for public schools, you're going to get taught what the state tells us to teach you. So if the state of Missouri says, because we in St. Louis, Missouri, if the state of Missouri says, yeah, I want you to teach this in science, teach this type of history, leave this out of history, teach this type of math, don't teach them about this, this, so on and so forth, the teachers are going to teach that so they can go ahead and capitalize on these state exams and everything that these kids have to take. Map Every testing, year. remember that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Man. You know what I'm saying? So they can go ahead and capitalize and do great in that aspect. That's what public school is focused on. They ain't focused on your love or your passion like most private schools. And I have to say most and not all because, once again, we all know there's Lutheran schools that is focused on religion, uh, Christian somewhere, but mostly Catholic schools are really focused, religious-based, real heavy. So in high school and private school, just so we can speak on the older kids, uh, the adolescents or whatever, they actually in private schools have special courses and special classes like advancement placement courses and gifted studies classes. You know what I'm saying? Which give kids like a higher social ranking or a higher social status to meet yeah. different people early to go ahead and work, th- work their way through the door faster versus a public school where we usually have to depend on scholarships. Like some, like they got academic scholarships, but you gonna work for that. And then um, if you got the the jump shot or you got the the arm or whatever, you can go ahead and get an athletic scholarship. But that's pretty much what all the public school can really offer the kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They really can't. I mean, I know nowadays. A uh, shout out to my uh, baby sister Tierra. I know they they. I know even in my day they had college courses. Uh, right now I know my little sister was taking honors courses before she went to college and did her uh, first year down at SEMO. So, I mean, I know they're getting getting that together. I know my uh, daughter, uh, Cadence, she's going to be taking some uh, advanced classes as well starting next year for her eighth grade year. And I have my kids in public school, folks, just so y'all know. this. I mean, we and I know about private school just because I have my oldest daughter me and my wife had our oldest daughter in private school, in a Catholic school. Went to shout out to St. Maurice, shout out to Holy Spirit. They were pretty good schools, just expensive as a mug for one. 
uh, they needed everything for two. So if they run out of pencils, it's your responsibility to give the school pencils, pens, tissue, anything that they need. They're going to send a letter home with your child and be like, yeah, we need you to go ahead and donate this because we need this. Too wild for this. this. Yeah. But that was just the reality. You know what I'm saying? Um, of wanting to put the child in the best environment. But like I say, when, when the tuition comes out to be like another mortgage, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's just real crazy. Now, I think I, I touched on almost everything. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, to end off with the public school, I'm just glad that at least they separated church and state where they can go ahead and let people have their own religious beliefs and do what they want to do. But the only thing I don't like about public school for most public schools is you're just teaching a curriculum instead of teaching a real curriculum. Is church and state really separate? Not now. No. Nah. Has it ever really been? Uh, in school, yeah, but not in not in life though. Oh, go 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 expound so. on that. We might have to have another episode for that. Um, <laughs> separation between church and state mm -hmm. is a myth. I will divulge further into that on another episode, y'all. Hey, yeah, we're going to have to write that down. Absolutely. Separation between church and state is false. And I have breakdowns for that on another episode. We ain't going to get into all that right now. So, Cal, tell me, because what would you recommend? Um, What's best for your child? What's best for your income? You know, you get you got multiple factors mm -hmm. to weigh in because all private schools aren't great, and all public schools ain't bad. Mm -hmm. um, and I was telling you off the air that uh, me and a friend of mine was having a conversation because I was debating on putting my daughter in private school this year, and he was telling me about how he started off in private school, mm -hmm. and when he left p private school and went to a uh, Pattonville district he kind of felt behind you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying like he had to play catch up yeah you know what I'm saying so just because it's a private school doesn't mean you're getting the top tier right just because it's a public school don't mean that you got poor teachers true you know you just gotta do your own research on every program every school every district you know yeah see I know uh, with my my experience I would shoot for public school all day. Nothing against the private schools, but uh, especially if you're dealing with young kids, put them in a public school environment so they can go ahead and uh, get to know different people from different walks of life, uh, get to know uh, different teachers that have different things that they can go ahead. Because every teacher has a different teaching method. You know what I'm saying? I learned that in public school. Now, I think uh, private schools, everybody got to stick to one strict thing unless you're going once again to a private school that has a focus on something like the arts theater or music like my college was a music college you know what I'm saying and it was various teachers who had different ways of teaching music but if it would have been a traditional college like going to UMSA but hey you got public schools that have some of those focuses too like yeah. North Tech oh yeah you know what I'm saying so you just gotta do your own research yeah most definitely gotta do your own research yeah and man whatever you feel is best for your child uh is, is what's best for your child you know what i'm saying until your child acts or actually states otherwise or shows otherwise you know what i'm saying within the grades and within their behavior and so on and so forth because it's our job as parents to go ahead to make sure that we can be a part of creating the best future for our child so Right, and then you gotta know your child. Like, is your child gonna really be applying themselves? Because private school is expensive. Like mug. You don't wanna try to put no kid in there that's gonna be playing with your money. Yeah. Me personally, that's not what I would be doing. But my child, she, she enjoys doing her schoolwork and stuff like that. But you know, some of y'all parents got some kids that you know you gotta stay on them and do their homework. I was one of those kids. I that. didn't do home. I didn't, I didn't carry the book bag since sixth grade. Yeah, no, I always did homework. Now I did it at school. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I started doing my homework at school once I got in high school. You know what I'm saying? Because they had study hall classes where it made it uh, plausible to go ahead and uh, do that. But uh, 
once but prior to that you know what i'm saying i didn't have that in uh, grade school or middle school i most definitely brought the uh, the books home and i actually did my homework at the crib which i didn't mind doing it anyways but most of the time i missed a whole lot of time of running out in the streets hooping at the uh, basketball court or hanging with the with the gang you know what i'm saying just I, was because out, I was outside with the gang yeah. <laughs> i knew i wasn't doing no homework so i just did what i had to do in school Man. but every kid not like that you got kids that's going to discard all of that i had enough you know in me to say well let me do this while i'm here because i know when i get home it's over with right you know every kid ain't like that let us know down in the comments what y'all feel like the, the best environment for your child is. Will it be private school? You know what I'm saying? Um, and if it is a private school, is it will it be religious based? Oh, and I want to say this. Private school or public school? How do you feel about homeschool? It's a uh, bonus question. That most definitely is a bonus question. That's a good question, too. Yeah. Will you homeschool your kids like Jada and Will? I'm going to give you my thoughts on homeschool. I don't agree with it. Uh-oh. Okay. At all. Um, you teaching your kid isolation. They don't. You don't want to wait till your child is an adult to learn how to deal with different kind of people. Right. You know what I'm saying. So, I'm 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 against homeschool for those specific reasons. Your kid would not have memories to reflect on being homeschooled. Right. You know what I'm saying. Like they won't have those moments to reflect on as an adult. Like man, I had fun going to Hazelwood day. You know what I'm saying. They're not gonna have those memories. Yeah, you're right. Homeschool. And I think uh, the COVID did it. Or, or, or remember the senior prank that, you know, class of 2026 20, did? You know what I'm saying? They got to have those memories. You're not going to have those in homeschool. You're going to have people that are socially awkward. Um, they'll have more mental health issues. Um, just a lot, a lot of different things. So yeah, I don't agree have, with homeschool at all. Yeah, they probably have a mean case of anxiety, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being a, stepping out in a social setting with so many people. As an adult? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah you're right. That is all bad. Isolation. It's not a good thing. It's not. You have to learn how to deal with people. You're not supposed to like everybody. Everybody's not supposed to like you, but don't isolate yourself and your kids from the world. They have to learn how to live in this world. Yeah, if they're going to make it. Right. You want them to learn this early as opposed to becoming an adult and figuring out who they are, what they are. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you isolate it, you kind of, you really don't know who you are. No. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the only time you're supposed to isolate is when you're going ahead and make working on that shot in the gym. Right. You want those kids. You want your kids to be able to make those decisions about who they are with themselves, what kind of crowd they want to run with as a child, as opposed to making the wrong decisions as an adult. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, adult decisions come with life sentences. They ain't ready for that. They ain't right. ready for that talk. Right. So, mm-hmm. I'm I'm 100 against homeschool personally. I gotta be against homeschool too Cause first I was never homeschooled And like I said uh, uh, Prior COVID uh, Did the kids a disservice With forcing them to have to be homeschooled And they hated it And they hated it they, hated yeah, they really did They could not keep still They want to snack every 30 to 45 minutes Because then their attention span Will be so short Yeah. Because they get tired of just sitting in one spot you know, and staring at a computer screen, but they're not playing no games. They ain't doing nothing. They just rather be in the school environment. And I completely understand because even though sometimes I didn't like going to school, but at least I had right. other people in the classroom I could chill, kick, kick it with. with. Yeah, uh, females I had a crush on in school. You know right. what I'm saying? You know, you gotta have those experiences young. You don't want to wait till you an adult to have your first contact with people. Right. You know what I'm saying? You want to have those experiences young. And that's what public school or private school does. You get to meet different people. Homeschool, you don't get to do that. What you going to do? Be in homeschool with your cousin, with your sister? That's still somewhat a controlled environment. You want to get them out in this world a little bit. Facts. Don't wait till they 18 going off to college. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because cause they being homeschooled and sheltered all this time. Now they doing drugs. Right. Because they don't know how to deal with things. Because they ain't learned at a young age. I can be myself and say no. Mm-hmm. And still be cool. Yeah, but yeah, let us know. Would y'all prefer the traditional public school, private school like Hogwarts, or homeschooling? 
Let us know in the comments. Let us know. We love the engagement. We love all of that. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, cap this episode off. Once again, this is another episode of the Welcome to the Loot Town podcast. I am yours truly, Killer Threat. Boy, cool cow. And uh, once again, like I should have said at the beginning of the episode, we really do appreciate the comments. We do appreciate the love. We do appreciate the shares. Please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell notification so you can go ahead and be aware of all the new content that arrives on a weekly basis. And also, as an additional feature on YouTube, you can go ahead and hit that super chat or super like or super thanks button that you will uh, see. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we get paid off that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, okay. most definitely uh, hit that yeah, up. Yeah, hit that. Uh, if y'all haven't like uh, every episode make sure you go ahead and stream the Cool Killers album by Cool Cal and myself it has some bangers on there you already know shout out to everybody listening to O-Ops no ops not O-Ops no <laughs> ops that got it over 100,000 right now it's currently over 112,000 we can go ahead and keep that we appreciate up. y'all for sure you already know and also shouts out to Grim Giuliani Trulliani check out the Grim Killers album Grim you know what I'm saying? Has 12 dope tracks on there. Uh, let us know what your favorite tracks are on either album. You know what I'm saying? You can find it at whatever platform you stream music from. And last but not least, go ahead and check out the www.killerthread.com site. You can go ahead and view all my music, view all the W, or I would say WT, but it's like, welcome to the Lou Town podcast videos. You can also... yeah. Get all beats if you are in need of a beat. Hit me up. The email's on the site. You already know what it is. But until next time, folks, it's all love. We out of here. We out. Okay.